Hi guys, Mike here. In this video I'm going to show you how to create an equivalent C++ struct to the Blueprint Do Once node that all of you Blueprinters might be familiar with. Similar like with the gate node in the previous video, I will use a simple example I prepared to showcase the Do Once node and then create a similar example in C++. So let's get started. So in Unreal, let's first have a look at that example. So similar like in last video where we created the gate node struct in C++, we have a similar example here with the do once node. So we have label current state not executed. Once I hit execute, it says executing. And once I hit execute again, I can't click it anymore. Then I can reset it. It sets it to not executed. And then I can start executing again. Having a look at the have a look at the blueprint nodes, it's very easy. We have to do once node. It basically executes once the nodes that come after the completed pin, and the reset button resets it so that we can execute it once more. Like the node says, do it once, and then we need to reset it to do it again. So very simple example. I'm doing this a little bit different for the C++ version later on, you can see without the delays and stuff, but it will get the example shown and how to use the do once struct in C++. So let's first check our C++ widget that we created. It's similar. We have labels. We have the execute and reset button, like with the gate example as well where I created a C++ version of it. Let's have a look at it. And you can see here we have our do once widget, which has this, the text that will be changed. We have the execute and reset button binded, and we have an execute and reset click. In the native construct, we add our function bindings to the unclicked event. And for this simple example, once we click execute, it sets the text to, to execute it and on reset to not execute it. And if we check this, let's change our widget that we add to the viewport to our do once widget CPP, compile it, save it. And once we hit play, it says execute it, reset. So there's no functionality there yet. So now it's time to create that do once struct. So like last time in the gate example, right click, add Unreal class. We are creating an empty and this time I name it right without the F. So do once, hit enter. We have our classes created here. Let's make this a bit bigger. We can delete the edit, delete. So again, you guys might be wondering, what am I doing here? How does this work in Visual Studio? Because I don't use Visual Studio. I'm using Writer, and this is how you can do it here. In case you want to do it in Visual Studio, you just have to go again to the C++ classes, right click, add new C++ class, and then an empty C++ class, which you then can name like the do once dot h for example and dot tcpp and then you would need to delete the cpp file more complicated and change things so for time purposes i will just do this in writer this is my favorite ide of choice for unreal c++ development so yeah this is about creating the do once struct so let's continue so first let's delete or let's just make a struct f do once. Then let's create the generated body. Remove this and make it a u struct of blueprint type so that you guys can use it in blueprints as well. So then every kind of variable that you declare in a struct is public, so we don't need the public definition here. Then what we need is the, the first constructor. So let's define this as force inline. And then we define the second 
Well, before we do that, let's define our variable that we are going to use. So it's going to be a U property and call blueprint read write. And it's going to be a bool. B do once. So it's really similar to the gate node that we created in previous video or the gate struct where we have that Boolean variable that defines if it's closed or open. And it's similar here where we define it as executed once or reset basically. And um, the functions that we will have are a little bit different, but we come to this in a second. So let's first create our second constructor. And we will do this because let's go back to a second to our blueprint nodes. Here you can see start closed. So basically we are going to recreate the whole functionality of this node. So we have the option to start closed or opened. And for that we need a different constructor that has a boolean as a parameter. So we specify it as explicit. If you don't know what explicit means, go have a look at the gate node conversion video where I show an example about this. I'm not going to do this in this video again, so just have a look there. It just means that we need to explicitly specify our constructor and can't use implicitly like assign it to a bool value automatically. We need to call the constructor explicitly. But like I said, go ahead and have a look at the gate node video if you haven't already, um, where I explain everything there. So we have our bool be start closed. So this bool defines if we start closed, if it's true, if it's false, then we start open or not executed. And let's implement these for now before we go to the functions force inline f do once and this is the default constructor which we pass in false as default so it doesn't start closed parentheses and then let's copy this and do the one with the parameter. So const bool b start closed. And what we need to do here is inverse the parameter, the value of the parameter, so that if you we invert this variable because the boolean works like this. If it's true, then we can execute it once. And if it's false, then we then it's closed and we need to reset it to true again. So that's, and because the name is st start closed. So that means like if we set it to true, then it would be the opposite. So we need to inverse it to the Boolean value. And one thing before I forget it, so we don't need the core minimal, but we need to add the generated file. So do once dot generated, generated dot h. And this is, like I mentioned in the previous video as well, in more details, this is the generated file that will be generated by the Unreal header tool where all these macros like u struct, generated body, u property, and so on, they get all replaced by code from Unreal. So the actually the generated file will be the one that is compiled and not the this one that we are working with. But this as a side note. Okay, so we included our generated file, we defined our struct with our property and the constructors, implemented the constructors. And now we just need two more things, which will be a reset function and a execute function. So we do force inline again to make this more efficient. 
call this reset and reset the only thing that it's doing is it sets do once to true and then the meat of the struct is the execute function which will return a bool value called execute and what this does is is checks if b do once is true if it's true then we set it to false and return true i'll explain this in a second why it works like this return true and if it's not then return false so basically because we are not using nodes with pins and stuff we need to call a function to check can we execute it or can or are we not able to execute that functionality that we plan after the original pin basically what happens after here so this is going to be beforehand checked to see can we execute it if we can execute it then we execute the functionality after the completed pin and if it's not then it doesn't or it isn't allowed to execute it so in case our of our example that would mean let's go to our widget so this is completed now and i can see here if it's actually true we return true but set it to false and if it's and that means it's executed once and after every other execute it will return false so we executed it once and it needs to be reset to true that we can execute it again and so let's just add a in our visible anywhere for debugging purposes and do our f do once and call it do once and for this we need to implement or include the header file writer does this automatically so you would need to include the do once.h in here and then inside the native construct we would let's say start by resetting the node so every time it's constructed or whatever we do we do a reset what we can do also is do it like this and say f do once and pass in true or pass in false so that it actually does not start closed but open maybe something because of the naming that i chose this could be done a little bit differently that we say start open and so we can don't use the inversion and can rather make it more more understandable or not so or not so confusing maybe um but the way i did this here is we just declare it and because the native construct once we create the the widget and it's created maybe another level we make sure to reset it to true that we can use it once and then on reset we set the text to not execute it and then let's say we have our do once struct and we call reset in here and in this case what we can do is this is where the execute function comes in place we call do once execute so if it returns true then we can execute it and call our or do the logic that we would do what comes after the completed pin in the blueprint node and else for example um, what we can do is in this example and like i mentioned i'm not using the delay example where it says executing and so on this would be too complicated for this little example here in c so what we can do is say already executed so we once we hit it twice you can see it returns false so it executed once and then say already executed here 
This is something that you can do in C++ with this one, but not in in Blueprints because there is no second pin that you can act to if it's not completed. Or this is only for the do once, like it says, only for that purpose where you can execute it. But there's no pin for it that you can maybe act to if it's already closed or already executed. And in C++, you can do it like this here. So that's why I'm also using a different example. So let's compile this and see how it works. So it's compiled. And let's head over to Unreal. What we can do is close this example here and this one. Let's make sure that we are using the BP do once widget CPP. Compile save, we probably did. And now hit play. Hit, it says not executed, hit execute. And if you click it again, it says already executed. So you can't, you need to reset and then we can execute again. So this is basically a simple little helper struct that can help you when you convert blueprints to C++ and you use a lot of do once nodes, for example, or like what we did in previous video with the gate node. And um, you can use these structs now as reusable components inside your CPP code to when you're converting from blueprints. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I tried to explain everything to the best of my ability, but if I didn't or things were unclear, feel free to ask and I will gladly answer any questions you might have. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and sub if you did. And thanks for watching. See you in the next one.